Pamatay na. Ito mga buang na walang silbi and it has created chaos throughout the country. It starts with a family dysfunction. Maghiwalay talaga ang asawa. Marami yan. Napabayaan na ang anak at 200 per snort of shabu. Times uh, di linggo isang buwan. That's about 6,000 a month. Times it sa 3 million lagong na yung akin. That's 18 billion a month. You times it by the number of na tama sa 3 million. That's 216 billion a year. Sino hindi? Tama na sabi yung sa aming umadres dito. Idaro ko yung ulo niya dyan sa poste. Sino man nagot dito ngayon? Nakita din yung ganun kakapal. That's 6,000 policemen. 40% of the itong barangay captains. And mayroong mga municipal mayors almost like 3,000 Sinong managot dito? Human rights. Umunta ka nga dito. Pinapasagot mo ako. I never denied that I ordered the operation. I declared war. Gira yan. Bakit yun? It's a legitimate. Bakit? Masama ba sabihin? Papatay ako ng tao para sa bayan ko. Tell me, is there a crime? It's a warning actually to stop So you guys, pati simbahan, you can get a list from the police. At mayroon dyan, ituturo sa ang barangay at ilan at may pangalan, puntahan ninyo, beg or plead to him to stop or drop the shabu. Ikuti na lang yung mga paris niya, pati yung human rights. Pag binitawan ninyo ang shabu, tonight, tomorrow I can assure you, No more killings connected with drugs. But for as long as you continue to destroy my country, I will kill you. I have never denied giving the orders. I take full responsibility, legal or otherwise, for that order. And those policemen and military officers or military men who follow my order, sinabi ko time and again, arrest them, go out and hunt for them. Putang... Police tayo, militar, matrabaho natin. How can we protect and preserve this country? Go out and hunt for them. Aristohin ninyo. Total, pag-trafficking yan, eh, nobel naman yan, hindi kukulong. Hindi naman kailangan patay, nobel yan eh. Di para, para patay na rin. Sabi ko, but if they uh, resist uh, with violence, you place in danger the life of a police and uh, you have no right to do that. In the first place, you are breaking the law. In the second, you are placing in jeopardy the life of a law officer. I will not allow it. But I take for responsibility. Lahat yung namatay sa inkwentro, sagot ko yun. Ako ang magpakulong doon. Klaro yan. Huwag mo akong bintangan yan kung sino-sino pinatay dyan na akin yun. I, I, you know, I answer for my deeds or misdeeds, if you may. Bakit ko tatalikuran yan? Hiningi ko yan eh. Mahirap ang trabaho. I was the one who solved it. So, Presidente ako ngayon, the fight against the drug people will continue to the very last day of my term. That would be six years. Another killing for the night? I don't mind. So why don't you just go around, take pictures or motion cameras para makita ninyo. Sinabi ko, ang tao, kita mo yung sa South America, lahat may armas, lalaban talaga yan. Bye-bye. O, sa... President Duterte in Camp Evangelista Station Hospital in Cagayan de Oro City. Earlier, he paid respects to those killed in action. 
against members of the New People's Army in Misamis Orientalis, who posed posthumously award uh, two of those who were killed and likewise award other soldiers who were wounded in battle. Now, in talking to media, he noted the number of casualties that have suffered during his administration already. He said 32 soldiers and 29 policemen, but still says he doesn't want killings. He doesn't want war, but his oath of office says he should do everything to preserve the Filipino people. He hits the NPA for earlier declaring a ceasefire but continuing to kill his men. He says he'd rather talk but asks them to give, or give him something to start off from. Also, he again made a justification of his war on drugs and how it is already affecting families and the country. He says he has never denied giving orders to hunt and arrest those involved in the drug trade and he takes full responsibility for all his men who were killed in the ensuing encounters. We'll give you more updates in uh, a few minutes. Please stay tuned to ANC. Before we start opening the bank accounts, number two, integrity in the tax administration. Right, because wow. you're this will be the that. same people who will check my accounts. No way. I say no way. <laughs> right. well, so I think I'm, well, I'm, it can be used to harass people, uh, all our viewers. Correct. So they can start checking my account. I'll give it to them. But to others, no way. That's dangerous. So those two requirements you have basically mean, let's be... I am committed to stop drugs before I go out. Which means to say, marami pang patayan to. Kasi lumalaban talaga yan. It will not end tomorrow. It's either you kill me or I kill you. Meron lang yan. When you kill criminals, it is not a crime against humanity. The criminals have no humanity.